Hello fellow engineers and welcome back to Hydraneer where last time we continued making loads and loads of bars with brand new mining equipment including this little guy here that allowed us to drill tunnels. So yes deep underground I mined out a load of space just so I could move this and set up our brand new tier 3 drills. These lumps of dirt are worth way more than my other ones. But yes today we'll be leaving this because I have been told by the dev there is like a new quest thing that we must go check out. Now, he said it won't be easy, but I've got to head over there to the castle. Now, was that always a castle? I don't actually remember. For those wondering where it was, you just got to go past the fish nado over the poo bridge. I mean, or, or the original bridge, if you're boring. Uh, but it's up there. So here we are. The ca I don't think this was a castle. I'm pretty sure it wasn't. Uh, but yeah, we got the quest givers here. Look, you can see this one. He's probably one that I was trying to do the soup quest with because we've got soup. Yep, he wants soup. Uh, but this one... He wants a 200 weight bar of gold, but as a dagger. Wait, what? As a dagger? But you use iron to make daggers, not gold. Or do you? So we'll head back to our claim. We've got to decide what bridge we're going to take. That is the trouble with building so many incredible bridges in this game. I mean, the gemstone suspension bridge did get a 10 out of 10 from our independent bridge review. What? They put a blooming tree at the end. Devs, what are you doing? They're, I swear they've done this on purpose. They've stuck a tree there, so I now can't drive my vehicle along this one. If we walk along the gold shard bridge, look, more trees at the end. They weren't there before. They've done this to spite me, I'm sure of it. <laughs> but anyway, finally back to our claim. I have this machine which gives me 100 weight bars, remember? So I'm pretty sure I can just take two of these. I'm going to want to melt them into a new bar. So I'll tell you what, let's just pour that out. This is our new material core stone. But yeah, I'll put two gold bars in there, pour that out, and then this one should weigh 200. You can just shove it on the scales here. Yep, 200 exactly. Nice. So we just need to heat that up on this anvil. I did not realize. Yeah, I didn't realize. So before, you could, only make you could only make a dagger out of iron, but this, it looks like you can make anything out of any sort of bar. Interesting. Okay, so we want to make a dagger. So we'll shove you on there. We'll give it a whack with this hammer. Boosh. <gasps> Golden dagger. Whoa, it's really shite. Look at the reflection on there. Oh, it is legit reflections. Uh, what a lot of people probably won't realize. There's a lot of reflections in games are actually like fake. It's not actually the reflection. So that's cool. I appreciate that. Anyway, we've got to take that to that bloke. So here you go, mate. Oh, i got to take this first. Okay, take that first. You, uh, yeah, I got it. I got it. So you take that. There you go. Lovely and shiny. Give me your tokens. Thank you very much. And he's opened the door. Okay, I'll leave my tokens there because I don't actually need them. I probably do actually if I want to get that drill thing because that looked cool. But anyway, for now, we are in the castle. Oh, no. They want soup. What? How many? 4,600 tokens for that. Blooming hell. Hmm. Okay. So 300 turnips and 300 broccoli in a soup. Oh, wait, wait, wait. There's another guy here. What do you want? Oh, can I choose? I don't have to do the soup. I could do another dagger. Oh my goodness, 5,000. That's 50 bars. That'll take me ages. I mean, that's probably easier than the soup. Oh my, 18,000. I mean, as much as I probably could do the soup pretty easily, I got a pretty good farming setup back at home. I think I'm going to do this one because that seems a lot more doable. And I can spend those coins on like all the new stuff. So the question is, does this bar that we pulled out earlier weigh more than 400? I mean, I did leave this running for quite a while, but 400 seems a lot. I'm pretty sure this is like one of the rarer things. Maybe not as rare as Cloutium, but still. We'll shove that on there and... Oh, 700. Oh, blimey. That is decent. Okay, 700. So we'll shove that in there to be heated. Now, what else did we need? It was a thousand gold and five thousand iron. So tell you what, probably makes sense to move this to the bars to save me going forward and backwards. So I just need 10 bars. One, two, nine, ten. So pour that out. And then I just got to put 50 iron bars in here. One, two, three, four. 346 minutes later. 49, 50. Oh. So we'll pour that out. We'll look on the scales and see that I counted it wrong. So quickly add it back in with one more. Take a moment to be appreciative that I actually built this sourcing machine so I could actually do that quite easily. Thank you, past Matt. You do look after me. So that's the sword. Let's hope I didn't miscount. I, I did check them all, right? I'm having doubts now. Anyway, they're all gone. Oh, look at that bar. That's cool looking. We'll give that a boosh. And there is the sword. Oh, look at that. Oh, man. So when you combine like different materials, you get different like parts. 
Like that's core stone, the blade. We've got a gold hilt and then an iron, an iron handle. That is really cool. Fair play, devs. Anyway, we'll take this back inside the castle and then give it to this bloke. Right, there you go, mate. Does that look good? Nope. What? Uh, yes, it is. Don't say it has to be 400 exactly. Are you actually kidding me? Because I put slightly too much core stone in. What? How am I meant to get 400 exactly? What am I going to do with this now? Right, well, does anyone around here want a really expensive sword? Oh, yeah, look, look, you can see in the bottom left. So, iron, 5,000, gold, 1,000, core stone. But I must put too much core stone in, and now the guy's saying no. What an absolute joke. Right, how much can I sell this for? 128 grand, and he won't even... Oh, man, I'm so annoyed. I'm so annoyed because I don't think I can melt this down now. So, yeah, I guess we'll take the money. I don't even need that money. I'll just leave it there. I do have a feeling, though, in this shop where I can spend those tokens that I'll get. Wasn't there? Yeah, what's this? So it only costs 320 tokens. Cuts resources down to a desired size. Input with logic. Okay, we'll take one of these. Oh, no, I've left my token somewhere. I've left my token somewhere. All right, give me a sec. I'll just go find them. Aha, I was over where I bought this thing. So yeah, we'll grab those. Uh, this is the drill, by the way. I should probably buy that at some point. It allows me to prospect for ore veins. We don't know what they are yet, but I'm sure we will find out soon. You know, we'll shove that in there. Buy that. I'm really annoyed as well that I didn't find those quests sooner because I did like all the crappy... <laughs> I did all the like really crappy quests around town that gave me like no tokens. I could have just done one token to be able to afford both of those vehicles. Anyway, anyway. So this thing has logic input on the side. I think I need to input a number. So I probably need a keypad. So as I'm back, I should probably go make some more core stone. So let's just turn this on. All right, so everything's running, so we're making materials again. Good stuff. Yeah, I mean, actually, there's a lot there's a lot simpler way of doing this, to be honest. As much as I want to use this new thing that I've just spent some money on, I think I'm better off if I just swap this one, which is Cloutium, for the Core Stone. So you go on there. That means Core Stone will go along this one. So I could just change that number to 400, or I just could wait for four bars to go along that. But yeah, then the Cloutium will come down and just sit in that hole. Okay, sorted. So we'll shut that up. We've got core stone there. So we should see that goes right. And then it waits there. Yes, it's waiting there. It's waiting there until it's been... Well, until there's 100 weight, essentially. And then it goes and gets melted into a bar down here using this guy. Okay, so that would be good. So out here, we should have some core stone bars weighing 100. Hang on, hang on. Yeah, I've just, re I've just realized I realized why it didn't work. So th it's a lot more detailed than I thought it was. So if we look at the core stone bar, that's number one. If we look at the, the figure above, one should be the handle. So if we look on here, you can see one should be the handle. So my blade was three. I think that's why it didn't work. I'm going to assume the exact weight isn't required. Because, yeah, I've got a 449 bar, so we'll just shove that in the fire. So, the blade needs to be iron. Uh, the trouble is... Oh, <laughs> the trouble is they're all blooming... How am I meant to tell what is what? They're all the same color. Oh, it says bottom left. Okay, so that, that was actually iron. So, you go there. You go there. And then this one can go there. So I think that's right. Let me just double check. So yeah, gold in the middle, iron on the end. That, okay, sorted. So we'll give this a bash. Oh no, they've blooming. They've cooled down. Okay, so gold there, iron there, core stone there. Give it a bash before they cool. Okay, so that, actually, that looks more like a sword. I prefer the last one, to be honest, with the core stone blade. But yeah, whatever. This should be good enough. If it's if it's not, I'm gonna I'm going to cry. But still, we like living life on the edge, don't we? If you don't take risks, what's the point? Right, please accept this. That looks fantastic. Yes! Okay, so 18,000 tokens. Let's shove them on the pile with the others out here. So we'll be spending those... Oh, what? I can't... Why can't I go upstairs? Why can't I go upstairs? Don't say I have to do your quest as well. Fine, soup it is. Okay, so beetroot and broccoli. Do I actually have those in my farm? By the way, welcome to my farm. This is this is Matt's farm. I did go all out on carrots before, as you can see. <laughs> yeah, sort of wish I had grown a bit of everything now. Okay, what do we need then? Beetroot and broccoli. We're going to have to go get the seeds. I think first, we'll just hop in this combine and we'll just we'll just harvest all these carrots so we've got space to grow stuff. So we're just digging up all the carrots. There's nothing in the back, so we're not planting anything. Look at all those carrots. There's so many. Uh, this was to make the carrot bridge, by the way, in case you're wondering why I have so many. But yeah, we'll leave that there and we'll go get some beetroot and broccoli. So this is the farm shop. We should still have, yeah, still got money in there. So we just need beetroot seeds. 430 each. Blooming out. 
And then broccoli, which are 380. Okay, I can buy quite a few of those. So we'll do that. Then back at our farm, we'll just plant them in the ground and then they will grow into their into their vegetables. But of course, they won't just grow like that. They need water, hence this sprinkler setup. So we just got to connect this like that. And then, yes, water here, sprinklers there. So they should all grow. And I'm sort of I'm sort of wishing I did this one first before messing about with the sword because then they would have grown by then. But anyway, we'll wait a few days. Four to six days later. Then after waiting literal years, I think we're good. So if you stay on the table, we can use this knife over here to give it a chop. Actually, screw chopping on a table. We'll just chop on the floor so we can chop all of these up. Yeah. We can then combine them onto a pile that I have been stacking to try and get enough weight. And then hopefully if we put them on the scales, yes, 356. And the beetroot, 415. Okay, we're good. So we can make a soup now. So we just got to shove this pot under some water. Then we add the beetroot. Wait, that didn't fit. Why didn't that fit? Oh, don't say it doesn't fit. I didn't think that this would be the hardest part. Right, there we go. So that is in. And then we want broccoli in there as well. Nice. And then we just shove that on the stove. And that should make us a soup. Oh my god, why is it vibrating? It looks dangerous. Aha, broccoli soup. So we just need a soup bowl now. So it found one over there. So we'll just shove that on the table. And then we just pour this into there. Then bottom left, cut broccoli, 356. Cut beetroot, 415. Actually, I probably should have checked. It was 300 of each, right? Yes, for you. <laughs> so it feel like it makes the most sense to use the carrot bridge this time. Yep, this, this was a... This was a labor of love, this one. But we're finally back here. Have your soup. Drink it up. Thank you for those. So I'll shove those out here. So we got both types of tokens now. And then presumably I can go... Yes, I can go up the stairs where we've got... Oh. Oh, no, not a fishing quest. Oh, it's been a while since we fished in this game. I assume I can't get up there. No, I can't. Okay, so he wants, he wants a, a lobster. 1.5 weight. Yeah, I noticed my frame rate is suffering. Oh dear. Yeah, this this don't look good. There's a lot of resource going mental here. So yeah, this is why I don't leave this thing running for too long. So we'll do that. We will say clear all raw resources. Clear. And then, oh, we have frame rate again. But yeah, so for this one, we're doing the fishing, which I should have all the rods laying about somewhere. Yeah, right. So here's my master fishing pole. So hopefully I can just fish and it won't take too long till I get a lobster. Now, I do have an entire video on the fishing quest, by the way. So if you want to watch that, I'll probably shove it in the old end screen. But yeah, since that video exists, I probably won't bore you by doing this the whole time. I'll just skip to the point where I have the lobster. All right, I'll tell you what, whatever this reward is, it better be good. The Dev Echi said it's well worth it, but we will see. So there's your lobster, mate. Oh, it looks tiny in his hand. Please be big enough. Yes. <laughs> okay, so that's money. Don't really need that. But I do want to go up the stairs. <gasps> Look how small the king is. So what does the king want? Oh, he wants a ring of 2,000 Clautium and 700 Onyx. Wow. Okay, Mr. King. I will see what I can do for you. Thank goodness this is the last quest. That is all I'm saying. This has taken ages. <laughs> now, we should be able to do the Clautium fairly easily. I'm pretty sure these all weigh 100. Let's just double check. Yes, they do. So I just need 20 of those in here. That's pretty easy. So one, two, three, four, 20. So we'll pour that out. Double check the weight. 2000. Okay, we're good. You can go in the furnace. And then 700 weight of onyx. So onyx is a jewel. And if you look over here, jewels have been... <laughs> They've been flying all over the place. I mean, this thing is completely clogged. Here we are. My, my magnet on a stick just to try and move all of those out the way. Because essentially, I need only the rarest of gems, which is this, an onyx gem. Let's just see how much one of these weighs. Oh, no, it's only 10. It's only 10. Okay, but still, I'll pick through. And I think if I shove them all in this thing, this should combine them into one gem. So we'll just pick up all the black ones, shove them in there. So that's filled up. I think I should just be able to turn this whole machine on. And then that should. Now, the thing is, how, how do I get it back? <laughs> Why is it shut in there? Right, there we go. There we go. So let's go weigh this and see whether we need to do more weighting or not. 106. 166. Okay, we might, we might be here a while. I mean, the sensible thing to do would be to expand my number of mines down, down there so that this happens quicker. But at the same time, I could just go take my dog Paddy for a walk. 
And what do you think, Pad? What should we do? Okay, Pad, we'll go. So I'll see you guys after a dog walk and then hopefully we'll have enough Onyx to build this thing. One hour later. Okay, so the moment of truth, please. Yes, 837. So that is fine. We just got to set this to, was it a ring? Yeah, ring. The Onyx goes on number two. Okay, got it. So Onyx goes there. That doesn't need to be heated, but the gold does. So that goes there. We give this a boosh. And is that it? That is tiny. Now, before we actually take to the king, though, let's just weigh this and see what it's worth. Oh, <laughs> 670 grand. It looks so, like, crappy, honestly. Anyway, excuse me. I have an errand for the king. All right, Mr. King, I've got it for you. There you go. What do we get for this incredible reward? Oh, what is that? A, a dirt wand creates dirt chunks inside dig sites. <gasps> Ooh. Ooh. Thank you, Mr. King. That is very kind of you. Right, let's go see how this works then. So how does this work? So if I click... Oh, wait, it makes that sort of dirt chunk? I thought it meant that sort of dirt chunk. So what you're telling me is I can now use this fairly simply to build things out of dirt. Now, I don't think this is the intended solution for this. I think we're meant to build cursed bridges. Oh, no, I fell down a hole. We're meant to build cursed bridges. Look at this thing. I made a truss bridge. It looks sort of like knickknacks. I don't know if you have those in your country, but that's what these look like. Poo-flavored knickknacks, uh, which I've actually never tried building a bridge out of. Maybe, maybe I need to. But anyway, that was a fun quest. I really, really enjoyed this, actually. I do just want to do one more thing before I go. Let's just see... In the style of Josh, is there a limit to how high we can go with this thing? Oh, wow. Okay, there, there literally might not be. Oh, my God. How cool is this thing? Oh, boy. Okay, this goes, <laughs> this goes quite high. Look at the view from up here. So, if we jump off... Oh, my goodness. Okay, so I don't know what's better. The cursed bridge or that... I mean, I think, I think now it's better. <laughs> right, and on that note, peace, love, and very tall ones of those. Bye, guys!